Hi guys, today we unlock a ZTE MF927U My5 using Windows 10. So basically we shall start off by setting up our machine uh, ready or making our machine ready to install or to allow us use the tools that we're going to be using. So uh, by doing that we shall need to enforce install installation of drivers with all their signatures. Uh, as you see here, uh, the drivers are not being installed because uh, Windows 10 by default doesn't allow drivers to install without signatures. So you have to remove your SIM card and connect your device in a very stable USB. So basically, uh, it's very simple. It's a very simple procedure. We shall need to restart the computer while pressing shift. So you press the start button. You click on the start button. Uh, then while pressing shift you select restart while pressing shift so when you select restart while pressing shift your computer will restart but take you to a certain menu and it's a choose an option menu you will select troubleshoot after selecting troubleshoot you will select advanced options you will select advanced options then after selecting advanced options you shall select startup settings after selecting startup settings, you'll just click on restart. So your computer will have to restart. After your computer has restarted, you'll press number seven. You'll press number seven. So when you press number seven, you'll start your machine normally and the drivers will be, uh, installation of drivers without signatures will be enabled. So basically we shall do the normal procedure as we did in Windows seven so i'll open this folder that contains my tools then i'll just right click on this pc then click on manage then i'll select device manager device manager then after selecting device manager it will load all the drivers that I need to install. You, as you see, demo demo mobile broadband drivers are there. So in case you don't see them, you will try running the tool before doing that. They will come. So you just click on action. Then you can add a new hardware. So when you click on yeah you you have to choose that I, I you have the you have a disk you select i have a disk then you browse so when you browse you'll enter the location the the driver location and you'll install the, each and every driver one by one so by clicking next i'll install each and every driver that are in the folder driver one by one This is enabling ADB. So we shall install each and every driver one by one. As you're seeing, I'm installing each and every driver one by one. So you, you really don't have to do this, but just to make sure that everything is set up and your machine won't get stuck at 0%, you need to install each and every driver that you're seeing here. And it will install ADB drivers. This is done while you've connected your, mach your MiFi with a SIM card removed. You connect your MiFi with a SIM card removed. So we shall need to install all these drivers as you're seeing here.
so after installing all those drivers we shall install the demo drivers if you do not see these you try running the tool they will appear you try running the flashing tool they will appear you just right click on them then you select update then you browse my pc you select location by clicking on browse so you select the folder where the drivers are Uh, for as for me, I'll select my desktop and I'll select the folder where drive, the drivers are. Actually, it's better I select the real folder that has drivers. Yeah, just like that. Then I look for drivers. Where are the drivers? Where are they? Yes, here they are then i select okay then i install if they do not install it's not a big deal you need to install the other because it will bring two options of the demo mobile then you right click on this one this one will have to install of course then you browse since i had already selected i'll just click next and it will install so when they ask me uh, to install drivers without their signature since i allow that you just click install then after that everything is done i think our machine is ready our machine is ready as you see it has also given us the comports so our machine is ready to do installation of the firmware on our device so remember our device is connected on this computer without a sim card you have to remove your sim card from your device you shouldn't forget that so i'll open the tool that we're going to use so by default uh you can either use this uh many people have been using this tool but sometimes it may have network problems so if it has network problems it's better use this tool here but the other first tool is the best one so this tool is really not the best but it's better you use it in case you're having network problems so you click yes this tool here has some is the best actually so i'll run i'll check the password yeah in case you did not do that you will need to fill the name or what but i'm going to fill the password because i had already installed it before actually i had already installed it before so yeah after clicking ok so As you're seeing here, it's ready to update. I'll just click update. So I'll give it some time to update. You'll have to leave this thing for five minutes. You'll have to leave the update to take place to you will have to give it some five minutes you don't really need to rush to pull out your device or to connect uh to insert a sim card you really need to leave it for five minutes i know it may take long to complete or it may not complete actually but you have to give it some five minutes before doing anything else before pulling out it's better to just leave it for five minutes so when it prompts you to install the new software you can allow it to install because now i've actually flashed a new firmware already on the device so i'll click yes then i'll click yes yeah so you just need to click yes of course just need to click yes so our update is complete 
and it has actually also installed uh, some new software called the jazz the new firmware that we're going to be using so i'll open a browser after opening a browser i'll put an ip address of 192.168.0.1 yeah i think yeah i'll put an ip address of 192.168.0.1 yeah so after doing that i'll insert now i can insert my sim card yeah when you insert your sim card you'll discover that now it can read any network so i've inserted a sim card of a, diff a different network so i'll enter my credentials admin admin to ensure that i figure put some settings then i'll have to agree then click on settings after clicking on settings i'll enable this then apply then i can move to i can move via apn then i'll select manual then i'll add new then i'll give it a name i'll set my apn as internet this works well in africa i'll i'll set my apn to internet then i'll just for the name you can give it any name then i'll just have to apply the settings or save the settings I'll and also make it my default connection I think everything is now done so if you restart the device it will connect automatically or you can just manually tap this and it will connect thank you very much our device is now unlocked god bless you